Hello and welcome back to Fundamental STEM into this video series of how to draw shapes with scratch um, and before we get started in this I just want you to quickly have a look there at that big red button and click subscribe and then click on that bell there like that so that you get notified of when Fundamental STEM put up new videos so let's get into scratch today's video is going to be the next in the shape so we did the pentagon last time this is going to be a hexagon this time around so same as we've done in every video of this series let's start off by getting rid of the cat and getting our pen or pencil and i think i pretty much called it a pen every single video that i've made but it's actually a pencil okay jer no problem here we go let's get rid of this second costume and let's uh, position it i should be used to this procedure by now let's position the pencil onto the crosshairs like this let's get our backdrop so we're going to scroll down our backdrop like this and we're going to find our wall here we go here click back onto our pencil and click into code right so let's start off with when the green flag clicked let's make that a little larger and we need some pencil functions or pen functions so click onto the extensions and there's our pen let's start with lifting up the pen and erasing any previous work that we've done before then we need to have it in a, a particular position so that we can start somewhere we can start from so let's click into our motions and there's the coordinates of the pen as it is uh, I wanted to start sort of there that'll do so let's pull that block out now because the coordinates that are in there are now where the pen actually is let's point in the direction of 90 degrees let's go back into the pen and grab a couple more blocks let's set the pen size okay pen size let's set the pen size to five and let's set the pen color to uh, let me see what would we set the pens color to randomly I'm just gonna think 70 I have no idea what that's gonna look like but that's aesthetic you can you can figure that out yourselves whatever whatever suits you so we're doing a hexagon and a hexagon has six sides okay so the first thing we want to start with is a repeat okay a repeat loop of six sides okay because it's a six-sided shape I'm gonna pull that over to one side because inside that repeat loop is gonna be our go straight and turn okay and so Remember what I did before? So I do a repeat of 10 and move 10. Okay, so that's that's how I do my 100 steps movement so that it actually gives the effect of drawing. So it, like the pen moves a little slower and it looks like it's drawing the steps. So the next one then is a turning block. Now for the degrees for a hexagon, we would have to turn 60 degrees, 60 degrees, okay? So we can put that straight into our, our other block here, the, the, um, the hexagon block. So six times it's going to move 100 steps and turn 60 degrees, giving us the effect of a hexagon. Uh, and I'm also going to add in um, a small weight block there as well, uh, just to kind of break up the, the motion between draw a line and turn. And so I'm going to put in uh, 0.2 in there, just to kind of break that up a little bit. So let's have a little look at our hexagon. And we forgot something. Okay, we forgot to put the pen down. Okay, so let's head back into our pen and grab a pen down block. Okay, and now let's try it again. And there we go, our six sides. Okay, so that's our hexagon. We've got an octagon to do tomorrow, and then we've got one more in this series which is going to be our variables and then i have a surprise for all of you for video number 14 for the last one in this series so remember to click like remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one